everybody. This is Andrew with Prairie Mountain Motorcycle Club. I'm going to give you a preview for the upcoming SECA nine hour team race happening here at Prairie Mountain. Here we are entering the property through our main gate with the Reynolds pasture sign. Right up here on the left is where you will sign your waivers and pay your gate fee to be able to enter the property. And then just like at the 24 hour, we're gonna have every, all the traffic's gonna turn left here. You're not gonna be able to go straight to go park and camp and go to pit road. Everybody will turn left right here. All this out to the left will be open for parking and camping. Everybody's welcome to come down early before the race to set up to camp with us. We don't have any hookups available. It's just open pasture to park your campers or trucks and trailers. We've had some little bit of rain here today, just enough to make a couple water puddles. So we don't believe dust will be an issue for next weekend. Got a playground here for your kids to play. Now straight ahead in this far field, we're gonna have pretty much the same kind of setup we had at our 24 hour race back in June. So pit road is gonna be straight ahead down that gravel road, right along that telephone pole. All, all riders are gonna pit on this pit road down here. That goes for the teams, duos, iron men, iron women, all riders are gonna pit down here. We're not gonna have pits up on the other road like we did with 24. Down in the far corner, back behind that little pavilion, is where we're gonna have the start of the race. And then all this out to the left will be for parking for your trucks and trailers and campers. Now, if we turn right to go across the creek, everything across this creek is gonna be Perry Mountain Club member parking only. But over here, you can see we've got our bathhouse up here to the left. We've got uh, a couple restrooms and showers available to everybody that comes to the race. Got some club members working to get it cleaned up. Right up here on the right is where Big Bo's Barbecue is going to be set up, selling food all weekend. And up here on top of the hill is our clubhouse. That's where you will come before the race to sign up, to get all your paperwork signed and to get your transponders for your helmet everything like that they're going to have that set up friday evening and again saturday morning uh stick made sure he wanted me to let y'all know that if you have not registered online if you are not pre-registered online that you need to come friday evening he does not want new teams signing up last minute saturday morning don't wait till saturday morning come on down friday evening so up here at our clubhouse is where you'll come to do your sign up that's also where scoring will be held during the race Every lap you, you'll come through there to get scored. So again, all of this on this side of the creek is all going to be club member parking. Now I'm going to hand it over to club member Connor Barrett. He's out riding the trails for us, getting some GoPro footage, show y'all what the trails are going to look like. Connor starting us out here on pit road. You can see the pit spots marked on the right and left side of the road. This is where everybody will set up their pits to where you can pull off and swap riders or bikes after each lap if you want to. The start will be back in the far end of this field. And after the start and also at the end of pit road, you will go across this bridge to the right to start your lap. At the end of each lap, riders will have the option to either continue on the race trail to do another lap or to pull into pit road. For those riders that decide to bypass pit road and continue on to do another lap, they will merge back with the trail right here for those riders that did turn to go down pit road. You'll see that the main race line is coming from the right, going to the left, and merging with the race trail that Connor's on coming from pit road. Everybody here will turn up to the left.
the Prairie Mountain Club members have been working very hard these last couple months cutting a lot of fresh brand new trails for you guys just for the night out. As you'll see in the video, our nine hour race trail, we used bright pink arrows. It's very visible in the woods. A lot of our older races, we've used orange arrows. So just remember, if for any reason, if you ever get off of the race trail and you pick up orange arrows, you're on the wrong trail. You only need to be following these pink arrows. One of the intentions we had when laying out this course for the nine hour was to run a lot of the trail in the thick coverage of the deep woods. That way it stays a lot cooler in the hot Alabama summer months, but also it helps keep down the dust because the sun's not beating down on the dirt. Here's another one of those new fresh cut sections our club members have put in. It may look a little tight now, but once you get a few laps of a race in there, it'll open up and multiple lines will appear. You can see here on this little hill climb, we've cut multiple lines up this hill. So if one gets a little rough, there's plenty of options to go around. Here we are coming up on the first mile marker of the nine hour course. You'll see those mile markers posted up on the trees along the course. You need to remember that those are more for reference points for us as club members to keep up with different locations on the trail so that we can relay information and rider locations. They're not always exactly right on the mile if you're watching your odometer, but again, they're just for relay points. That way if you pass somebody that's broken down you can relay back to us, hey, right after the first mile marker, there was somebody broken down, and we'll know exactly where that is.
Y'all be sure to watch out for these danger markers that have the X's on them. It means that there's something dangerous you need to keep an eye out for. It. across the two mile mark. Here's another little hill with multiple ways up. Great opportunity to pass somebody. Three mile marker as we come up on the edge of this clear cut.
this is another one of those new fresh cut sections that we just put in for this nine hour race. Wanted to give everybody a fresh new look at the Perry Mountain property, some new trails they haven't seen before. Passing the four mile marker as we cross over this logging road.
Here's the five mile marker. We're going to have a couple locations on the race course that we call our first aid stations. We're going to have a couple club members working these throughout the length of the race and they'll have water and other supplies but mainly they're there to be relays of information. So if you're out riding the course and you come across somebody that's broken down or anything you need to stop and tell the club members that's working these first aid stations so that they can call it in on their radios and other club members can go out there to help find them and bring them in. We're going to have the first one right here at this road crossing, which is what we call the catch pin. And then we're going to have another first aid station around the seven mile marker. I'll show you there. And then the third one is going to be back at the Prairie Mountain Clubhouse where we're going to be doing our scoring.
This is a section of trail we call the wire in the ground. Up ahead there's a few big terraces and years ago at a 24 hour race both Cliff Owsley and Jace Lewis were seen jumping up them like they were jumps on a motocross track. Completely insane. Six mile marker. This is a fun, fast section of the trail. We call this Glens Canyon Road. You can really get some speed going through here. Fun stuff, especially in these bowl turns. It came a pretty heavy rain about 30 minutes before Connor went out to take this video. So that's why you're seeing a lot of these water puddles. If this was race day though, first lap, you get 100 bikes through here, all that water is going to get it splashed out and the dirt's going to tack up and be just right. Okay, did y'all just see that? Or am I seeing stuff? Right up here at the end of Glens Canyon Road, we're going to have our second first aid station. Remember, we have these set up with club members working the whole race so that you can stop and tell them any information that we need to know, like a rider broken down or something wrong with the trail or anything like that. You need to stop for just a second, let them know what's going on, try to remember where on the course it was, and they'll call it in so they can get help out there. We're going to have the second first aid station set up right here at the end of the road, right before we go into these fresh trails.
coming across the eight mile marker here at a place we call Covert Corner. This is a fun new trail that one of our club members made with a skid steer, made it nice and fast and open. coming out into what we call 100 mile an hour field. For the nine hour, we're only using about half the length of this green field. In some races in the past, we've run the full length of this field and had a radar gun set up, clocking riders over 100 miles an hour. Nine mile marker right here at the end of 100 mile an hour field. This area can stay a little soft, so as you can see, we gave you multiple lines through here. In case anything gets rutted up too bad, you'll be able to find a good way through.
coming up on the Perry Mountain Clubhouse that I showed you earlier in the campground preview. This is where sign up's going to be, and this is also where you'll come through every lap to get scored. We'll be in the patio there doing electronic scoring, picking up your transponder as you come through this little chicane every lap, so be sure to slow down a little bit to make sure you get red. Here we're about to go right back over the top of the tunnel that we came through just a minute ago before we went through scoring. We're going to go through the woods a little bit, but then we'll come out where you'll have the choice to turn off onto pit road or to keep going for another lap. This is what we call Ridge Road. It runs the length of the hill up behind the Perry Mountain Clubhouse. It's a nice fast road with some water brakes in it. If you carry enough speed through here, you might just catch a little air time. Here's the 10 mile marker as we're turning off a of ridge road, headed down the hill towards pit road. So right here at the end of the lap is where we have this split where you can stay to the right to continue on the race line to go do another lap or you can go to the left to go down to pit road pit roads where you're going to swap bikes and riders so connor's ready to pit he's going to go on down to pit road if he had continued to the right on the race line he would have gone down the trail a little ways and ended up at that merge spot that we showed you earlier in the video where he's going to merge with the traffic that's coming off the end of pit road. Well, that's a wrap for this preview video. We sure appreciate you watching it all the way through. Hopefully you picked up some good information along the way. If you've got any questions or anything, you can reach out to us. Our website is perrymountainmotorcycleclub.com or if you want to reach out to the guys at SECA, their website is secaracing.com. Thanks again. We look forward to seeing you all this weekend.